everybody. Welcome to Worthington Library's Online Storytime. My name is Miss Karen and I do story times at the Old Worthington Library. Today we're going to do some stories about friends, but before we get started, we're going to sing our opening song. And let me just remind you of the signs that go with it, okay? It's called the more, this is more, we get together and we're going to circle everybody in. The happier we'll be for your friends. Okay, this is a sign for friends. You take your two pointer fingers and you hug each other. Okay, those are the signs you're going to need. Are you ready to sing? Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be for your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends the more we get together the happier we'll be good job and i am so happy that you are here today to share some stories about friends are you ready good let's get started so what is the first thing we need to do to start making a new friend can you think of something yeah, the very first thing we need to do is say, hello, right? So the first story I have for you today is called, Say Hello Like This by Mary Murphy. And it is from Candlewick Press. A dog hello is licky and loud like this. <laughs> Hello is prissy and proud like this. Meow, meow, purr, purr. A frog hello is jumpy and croaky like this. Are you ready to say hello like a frog? Here we go. Croak, croak, croaky, croak, ribbit, ribbit. A chicken hello is flappy and clucky, like this. A beetle hello is tiny and tappy, like this. A donkey hello is silly and happy, like this. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Oh, what a noise. What a hullabaloo. There's just one hello missing. Let's hear it from you. Hello. Now, I was listening to a song the other day that was all about a new way to say hello. It was sung by Big Jeff, and it comes from a CD called Exercise Party by Casablanca Kids. And it goes like this. I know a new way to say hello. Say hello. Say hello. I know a new way to say hello. All you do is blink your eyes. Ready? Can you blink? So I was thinking it might be fun to come up with some new ways to say hello. What do you think you could do? What would you like to do today? Can you move a different part of your body than your hand to say hello? What could we move? <gasps> yeah, we could move our hair. Are you ready? <gasps> I know a new way to say hello. Say hello, say hello. I know a new way to say hello. All you do is wave your hair. Ready? Hello. What is another way we could say hello? 
oh yeah, let's move our whole bodies. Did you ever get so excited and happy to see someone that you just felt like you had to dance? Let's do it. You ready? I know a new way to say hello. Say hello. Say hello. I know a new way to say hello. All you do is wave your whole body. Ready? Hello! I'm so happy to see you. But I still like the old way to say hello. Say hello. Say hello. I still like the old way to say hello. All you do is wave your hand. Oh. The next story I have for you is called Maggie's Ball and it is by Lindsay Barrett George and it comes from Green Willow Books. Does Maggie look happy playing with her ball? But Maggie is looking for someone to play with. All of a sudden, a mighty wind bounces her ball down the hill and it rolls, there it goes, into town. Uh-oh. Where is Maggie's ball? Maggie decides to look for it. Is this Maggie's ball? See what she's looking at right there? Do you think that's her ball? It is round and yellow, but it's not her ball. It's a lemon. Nope, not her ball. Is that Maggie's ball? No, it's round and yellow too, but that is the man's watch. Is Maggie's ball up there? No, Maggie's ball isn't on the pizza. Is Maggie's ball here? Nope, that's round and yellow too. But that's some yarn that the kitten is playing with. Oh, there it is, Maggie. Do you think that's Maggie's ball? Run, Maggie, chase it. Oh, wait, that's not a ball. Can you tell what it is on the string? Yeah, that's a balloon. Where is Maggie's ball? Oh, poor Maggie. She looks so sad. Look up at the top of that hill. What do you see up there? Yeah. Hello, little dog. Do you want to play with me? What do you think? Does Maggie look like she wants to play? Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 let's play. Good puppy you are. Maggie had found her ball and she had also found a friend. Friends are so much fun to play with and share things with and now I have a rhyme that I want to share with you. There's something in my pocket. Could it be a moose? Would a moose fit in my pocket? No, it would be way too big. Could it be a train with a bell and a caboose? No. Could it be a snake? Ooh, or some sticky, icky glue. Right here in my pocket is a kiss for you. All right, I'm taking it out of my pocket and I'm 
I'm gonna throw it to you. Are you ready? Get ready to catch. Here we go, you ready? One, two, three, catch! Good job. Now, take it and put it right on your cheek. Now, what I want you to do is put a kiss of your own on your hand. Hold it tight and turn to somebody you love and throw them that kiss. You ready? One, two, three. Good job. Now, see if they'll throw one back to you. I'm going to get ready to catch. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Got it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to put this back in my pocket and save it for later. The next story I have for you is called Can I Play Too? It is by Samantha Cotterill, and it comes from Dial Books for Young Readers. So what are they doing there? Can you see what he's playing with? Yeah, he's got a train. And his friend comes over and says, can I play too? He says, okay. Let's build a track. Now, you see these little bubbles? This is what he is imagining in his mind that the train should look like. And his friend says, sure. Click, clack, snap. Ooh, this piece goes here. So he's telling him where to put everything. And that one here. Not there. I'll fix it. There. Now, can you see what's starting to happen? How is his friend starting to look? Does he look happy? Hmm. You found my favorite one. I know just the spot. This is so much fun. I love trains. Did you know that some trains can travel 100 miles per hour through tunnels? One time, my dad took me on a real train. Oh, this piece goes. Uh-oh, you see what happened? He just took that right out of his friend's hands. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you like it if somebody takes things out of your hands when you have them and to play with it? Mm. Next to the tunnel, he takes it back. But that's not where it goes. Tug, tug, pull, pull, heave, ho. Pop. Uh-oh. You ruined the track. We go up there. He is angry. And look, where did he go? Under the table. So his teacher comes over and you see what she has? Yeah. It's a book about trains. Did you know that trains depend on traffic lights to run smoothly? Green says, Okay to go. Yellow warns, better go slow. And red means stop. But oh no. What do you think will happen next? Crash. Friends have traffic signals too. Woo woo, I'm happy. See how it's green? Say, this is fun. This one is yellow. Do you remember what yellow meant? Uh-oh, better go slow. Rumble, rumble. I'm sad, confused, or bored. See how that's not smiling anymore? You can pause and say, are you okay? Red means stop, screech. I'm mad. You stop and say, What's wrong? And once you learn them, you'll know just what to do. Your friend smiled so big when you asked him to play. Woo woo, I'm proud of you. 
His smile turned to a frown when he wanted a turn. And then he became angry when he felt unheard. Try a do-over and see what can happen. So he's going to try again, you see? He's got the train and he says, want to play again? And look, he smiled, didn't he? That's green. Oh, they're looking for lots of pieces now. Ooh! Now, do you see his face? Yeah. He looks at his card and he says, yep, he looks mad. So I can say, what's wrong? And his friend says, I had that. He says, I'm sorry. Thanks. Click, clack, snap. Chugga, 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 chugga. Woo, woo. So friends don't always get along. Sometimes we fight and we have problems, but then we can always say we're sorry and make up. So let's sing a song. We're going to sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Are you ready? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But what if you're not happy? What if a friend just took the toy you were playing with right out of your hands? Then how do you feel? Yeah, a little bit angry. If you're angry and you know it, growl like this. If you're angry and you know it, growl like this. If you're angry and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're angry and you know it, growl like this. What if your friend walks away from you because they're mad? How does that make you feel? Yeah, kind of sad, right? If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. But then, what if your friend comes back and says, I'm sorry, and you say, I'm sorry, and then your friend says, let's play again. Then how do you feel? Yeah, happy again, right? So if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now, I know it's been a little hard lately because we haven't been able to see our friends as much as we would like. And you know what? I really miss all of you. I miss my story time friends. But I know that it's how we all have to behave to be safe and stay healthy. And while we can't be together in person, there are other ways that we can show that we are friends, right? This is a book called While We Can't Hug. It is by... Owen McLaughlin and Polly Dunbar, and it is published by Faber and Faber. Hedgehog and Tortoise were the best of friends. They wanted to give each other a great big hug, but they weren't allowed to touch. Don't worry, said Owl. There are lots of ways to show someone you love them. Hedgehog tried a wave. That made Tortoise smile. Tortoise made a funny face. And that made Hedgehog laugh. Hedgehog wrote a letter. And Tortoise wrote one back. 
And when Tortoise did a little dance, Hedgehog joined in too. Hedgehog blew a kiss across the gap between them. Tortoise saw it and caught it and kept it. And sent three back again. Tortoise sang a song. Hedgehog played along. Then they both painted pictures so that everyone would know they were friends. They even painted the same things. Through rain and shine. They could not touch. They could not hug. But they both knew that they were loved. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed our stories about friends and I cannot wait to see all of you in person again. In the meantime, maybe you can make a list of all the ways you can show your friends that you love them, even if you can't be in the same room together. One way that I like to share my love with my friends is to read stories together. So thank you for being with me today. All right, let's get ready and do our closing rhyme. Are you ready? So reach way up there and tickle the clouds. Now tickle your toes. Turn around. And tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Bye, everybody. Take care.